General Ayam Alkali, a retired Army General and the immediate past Director of Administration of Nigerian Army on Monday, 4th September 2018, barely two months after his retirement. Concerned that on Monday, 4th September 2018, his wife, Mrs. Salamatu Alkali, alerted the Army authorities that her husband, who had departed Abuja the previous day in the morning for Bauchi had not reached his destination. After informing her the previous day on Monday 3rd September 2018 at about noon that he arrived just safely and would be passing through Du Road to Bauchi. The Senate notes with sympathy that that was the last communication she had with her husband until this moment as his whereabouts is presently unknown. The Senate further notes that following his disappearance, the Nigerian Army, with the support of the Nigerian Police, Department of State Security, Fire Service, and other security agencies, embarked on intensive search via the tracking of his phone up to when it was switched off, as well as relying on TPOX. The Senate acknowledges the thoroughness of the investigation of the Nigerian Army and other security agencies who narrowed their search to a pool of water in Lafande community in Du district of Plateau State by using local divers from Wase and Taraba to search the pond since the community claimed they did not have local divers. Concerned that earlier efforts of the Army and other security agencies did not yield the desired result. Hence, the whole pond was drained amidst protests from local women in the community who attempted to stop the army from draining the water on the pretense that it was their only source of drinking water. The Senate laments that after two days of draining of the pond, a bus was found and it was alleged to belong to a young man that had earlier disappeared along that road, while on 29 September 2018, at about 6 p.m., a Toyota car with registration number MUN70AA, belonging to Major General I.M. Alkali, was pulled out of the water with some of his belongings without any trace of his person, while another car, Rover, was recovered from the pond whose owner was alleged to have disappeared in 2013. The Senate acknowledges with serious concern the reported disappearance of numerous commuters along the due axis for the past few years, especially Bauchi onward bound travelers and the need to address same urgently. This incident raises some pertinent questions. Why did the people from Du community refuse to assist the security agencies during this search? Why did the people, especially the women, try to prevent the army from draining the water? Why didn't the community raise formal complaint from the local government to the state government about the draining of the water? Who were those spreading false information about the circumstances of the disappearance of Major General Ayam Al-Kali and what were their motives. Accordingly, the Senate resolves to, one, urge the federal government to set up an investigative panel of inquiries to, A, examine and determine the remote and immediate circumstances surrounding the dumping of cars in the ponds in the Dew District. B, identify and interrogate possible suspects in this dastardly act and ensure that the perpetrators face the full wrath of the law to serve as deterrents to other criminally minded persons in the strongest possible terms. Two, condemn the act and urge all the surrounding communities that is in the due access to cooperate with the security agencies to uncover this crime and criminality. Three, urge the security agencies to intensify effort towards finding Major General Ayam Al-Khali. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I was with the family of Major General Ayam Al-Khali last week, and 
they are soliciting the support of the Senate to get to the root of this matter so that um, the culprits will be identified and even to get to know the, his whereabouts, the whereabouts of Major General Ahmad. And we must commend the Nigerian Army for putting in this effort, at least to be able to even to narrow the search to this point. And we've seen in this motion that others too have been recovered from this point. Thank you, Mr. President and distinguished colleagues.